Okay, here we are back with the DeWalt DCV582 uh, portable electric mains wet and dry vacuum. Now we're going to do a bit of test here because our son's been uh, making some toast in the kitchen. And um, as teenage and kids generally are, quite messy, so we've got a load of breadcrumbs all over our kitchen counter. So we're going to give it a try. Um, I'm going to try it using a battery rather than the mains, even though we've got a main socket here. And try a battery just to see how well it does. A lot of these battery vacuums tend not to be particularly good, uh, and the batteries go flat really quickly, and they don't have as good a suction as their mains counterparts. So, I'm going to use this. This is a 4 amp hour battery. Bought this on Amazon quite cheaply. Uh, the standard DeWalt ones are about £70, £60. Uh, this, I got two for around about £60 with shipping. So. Pretty good deal. Uh, I've used it with my DeWalt circular saw, works really well, so we're going to give it a try here. So, battery just clips on the overhang here, which is probably a little bit oversized, could do with being smaller really. I think they've wasted some space there uh, and added a bit of extra length that really may be unnecessary, but here we go. So, I'm going to use the standard nozzle, I'm not going to use any attachments, just as it comes, which is just a normal nozzle. Now the one thing I've noticed is the exhaust port is here for uh, when it sucks, recirculates the air, comes out here. So if I have to vacuum this way around, it's going to blow everything everywhere. So I don't know if that's going to be a problem in the future, but as long as I'm aware of it, it's going to be fine. So we'll spin this around 180 degrees, pick up the crumbs, see what we've got. <laughs> Closer inspection will reveal how good it's done. Yep, yeah, seems pretty good. Seems to have picked up pretty much everything, at least everything that I've aimed for. Um, the only thing I'll notice, it does seem quite noisy. I don't know if that's going to be distracting if you're a workman and you're taking this on his house, but I guess if you're a workman, you're going to be making more no noise with uh, tools and what have you anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. Um, if you're cleaning up late at night, you may offend some of your neighbours, but again, if you've got to clean stuff up, you've got to clean stuff up. Alright, so that's the toast crumbs done. Uh, we're going to try some more things around the house and we'll update the video when we do them. Thanks for watching and any comments, put them in the section below.